Dear, what I honestly don't understand is why you keep complaining about every employer you've had. If all your bosses are horrible, maybe the issue isn't with them anymore. That's not true, Dad. It's not like that at all. I'm doing my best, but the conditions and the treatment I get are just too much for anyone to endure. In this video, I'm showing you exactly how I created, animated, and edited 3D characters using only AI tools. No fancy softwares, no complicated animation skills, and definitely no need to show your face on camera. If you have ever wanted to create those cool talking 3D videos for YouTube, TikTok, or Reels, this is how I did it, and you can too. I will break down each tool I used step by step from writing the script to making the characters talk. So grab your notepad or open a new project and let's dive in. Creating 3D talking animated characters is very easier than you think. My first step was writing the actual conversation for the video. I used ChatGPT to help me come up with a fun and engaging script between my characters. What I love is that you can ask for any tone, a fun, emotional or sarcastic and get instant results. This makes the writing process fast and flexible, especially if you are short on time or new to scripting but my favorite way of writing is doing it manually where you put your imagination on paper or you ask somebody who can help you write the script like i did here this was a script that was written by a friend of mine justin and every time i look at this script i connect with it so deeply that's the power of writing your own script or hiring somebody to write a script for you i'm not despising the ai too they are very handy more especially in the next step but sometimes when you're writing a script and you just copy what they wrote for you in most cases you get these generic results which may not connect with your audience but one thing i highly recommend if you write a script with ai is just copy the script paste it into a new google doc and edit the script manually put in your own emotion your own tone your own feeling your own words until it has that personal or human connection Connection. Once I had a short and punchy conversation, I was ready to bring those lines to life or with visuals. Step number two is how I created 3D characters. This is where most of the AI tools come in handy. I went to open up AI to bring my characters to life visually. But before I did that, I went to my story, I copied it and I pasted it into ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT to give me some prompts I can use to create my characters for that specific story. Story. All I said was give me prompts I can use to create characters in the scene using OpenArt AI. And ChatGPT had given me the prompts I can use to create my characters for this scene. Once this was done, I opened OpenArt AI. Here on OpenArt AI, all I did was come to characters. I created my character with the start with description feature. All I did was naming my character and giving a description about my character and choosing a style for my character. And this was my first character, my second character, my third character, and my fourth characters. Once I generated my character, I used OpenUp AI and ChatGPT prompts to generate clean, front-facing 3D portraits that look like they came straight from a Pixar movie. The key here is to be specific in your prompts. Include the emotion and the direction the character is facing to make sure that you select your characters and type in a prompt that tells the AI what your characters are doing. You can even generate a few options and pick one that best matches the voice or personality imagined. Once satisfied, I downloaded high resolution version of each character to use in the next animation step. Step number three, how I gave them voices. Then came the voiceovers. I used 11 labs to generate realistic voices for each character using my script. I could use different accent, gender, and emotions to make the voices match the character's personalities perfectly. You could also upload your own voice and clone need for consistency across a future videos. This step adds soul to your characters. It's where the emotion really starts to shine. Dear, what I honestly don't understand is why you keep complaining about every employer you've had. If all your bosses are horrible, 
Maybe the issue isn't with them anymore. Once I am done generating my voices and downloading them in my PC, step number four is how I animated their faces. Now for the best part, making the characters talk. I really love generating images first, then later animate them into video clips. And like using text to create videos, you rarely get those consistent visual clips for your project. This is where the magic begins to unfold even more. I use OpenArt AI to animate my images. All I do is close this tab and come to video here all i have to do is upload my image and here type in what is unfolding in the scene and we click on create sometimes these ai tool will generate the best results for you sometimes they will not generate that which you expected it can be a little bit annoying and frustrating but this is ai all i ask you is just be a little bit patient and regenerate until you get those perfect results that you desire when you get the perfect results for your project just download and save them in your pc once I am done animating them to give them voices, I use Dreamverse AI. The lot of lip syncing AI tools that you can use. I found Dreamverse AI to be the best option or alternative for me. Here all I do is upload the video clip that I just downloaded of my character who is talking. When the video is uploaded, I only select it and I come to audio and upload the audio file I just downloaded from 11 Labs. And when the audio file is uploaded, all I do is click on generate and a Dreamverse lip syncs my video file with my audio and gives me the perfect results that I desire. Dear, what I honestly don't understand is why you keep complaining about every employer you've had. Once the video has been lip synced, all I do is download and save it into my PC. From there, all I do is repeat the same process for all the audio files and the video files that I have until I'm done. And step number seven, which I presume is the last step, is how I edited the whole video. Since we've animated the video clips and lip synced them, the final thing is just assembling them using an editing tool. Use any editing tool that you have access to. You can use Humora, you can use CapCut, you can use Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Just use any editing software that you are comfortable with. I use CapCut and Premiere Pro to edit my personal videos. If CapCut is not available in your country, just use any editing too. Before we continue, a big thank you to today's sponsor, VMeg. If you're a content creator, VMeg is your new best friend. Their video translation tool lets you instantly translate your videos into 170 plus languages with over 7,000 realistic AI voices, voice cloning and perfect lip sync. Watch this. I just uploaded my video, choose Spanish from the drop down and boom, it's translated with synced voice and subtitles. Cariño, lo que sinceramente no entiendo es por qué sigues quejándote de cada jefe que has tenido. Si todos tus jefes son horribles, quizás el problema ya no sea con ellos. It also has a subtitle translator, a non-vocal slideshow creator with synced music, and a product review generator that makes full videos with AI voiceovers and effects. Plus, their new transcription tool lets you transcribe any audio or video, even directly from YouTube links. Whether you're creating for a local audience or going global, VMEG makes it fast, simple, and powerful. Try it out, link in the description. Now, all I do is bring all the clips into CapCut for the final edit. I place the each animated video in order, add some background music, some sound effects, and more light captions. I use the zoom in and subtle transitions to make the conversation feel more dynamic and less robotic. You don't need complex editing. Just start with this small editing and see the results that you get. Just clean timing and consistent visual styles. I also layered subtitles to boost the engagement, especially on the platforms like TikTok or Instagram Reels. Start with these basics and upload a number of videos on a YouTube channel. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't make money with AI content. Do not be discouraged. Keep uploading and walk with your head held high. And that's how I animated and edited 3D characters using only AI tools, no animation skills, no few crews, just creativity and a few amazing tools. This process took less than a day and I have a repeatable workflow to make more videos like this. Imagine creating a full on series, a comedy skit channel or even a faceless educational brand all powered by AI tools. If you want me to dive deep in editing alone, let me know in the comment section below. I would really be glad. And if this is something that you want to learn more about and do in the future, consider subscribing because more value awaits you. From here, check out the deep dive on how to create animated videos using AI. Thank you. God bless you.